What do we mean by infectiousness of an infectious disease? What does it depend on and how do we measure it? Infectiousness is a measure of how well an infection spreads and this depends partly on the organism but also on the environment. Different infectious organisms have different risks of transmission if there is a contact and with different diseases people have been infectious for different lengths of time. How well it spreads also depends on the environment because that determines the probability of a contact and the type of number of contacts. And these will vary from one population to another and it will also depend on if there are any prevention measures in place. There are two main measures we use to measure how well an infection spreads. The secondary attack rate and the case reproduction number and we shall look at each of these. The secondary attack rate is used in the study of spread of infectious diseases in defined conditions in small communities, in schools, in households. It's only relevant for person-to-person -person transmission and it's the proportion of those exposed to the primary case that develop disease as a result of the exposure. So as an example, in the first Ebola outbreak in 1976, there were 498 family members exposed to cases of Ebola and of those people 38 developed Ebola. So the secondary attack rate is 38 divided by 498 or 7.6%. 7.6% of people in the families exposed to the cases developed Ebola. The secondary attack rate is context specific and it depends on a number of things. It depends on the closeness of contact so again, in that first outbreak, although the secondary attack rate overall for the family was 7.6%, if we restrict it to the close family, to spouses and children, it was 27%. It was more likely that they would develop Ebola. It also depends on the type of contact. For example, for HIV, transmission by sharing needles gives you a higher secondary attack rate than sexual contact. And for Ebola, extensive contact with body fluids, as you might get, for example, in preparing a body for burial, will give a much higher secondary attack rate than simple skin contact. And it will also depend on the stage of illness. For example, for Ebola, it's more infectious as the disease progresses, as it gets more severe, and as the viral load is higher. Imagine an infection moving through the population. It might start with one person infected, two and each of those infects two more and it will rapidly increase. How do we describe this spread? This is the case reproduction number, the number of secondary cases per case. The basic case reproduction number, which is known as R0, is the reproduction number at time zero when all people in the population are susceptible. The net case reproduction number, or R, it's the reproduction number at a certain time, time t. It's changeable. It varies with the proportion still susceptible in the population. So R0, the basic case reproduction number, is the average number of secondary cases per case in a totally susceptible population. In some situations, it's possible to measure it directly if all of the population is susceptible. And that would be the case with new diseases such as SARS or diseases such as Ebola, which are new to a particular population. For other diseases, much of the population may already be immune and therefore we can't measure it directly. The R0 depends on three factors. The duration of infectiousness, the probability of infection being transmitted during contact between a susceptible and infected individual, and the average rate of contact between susceptible and infected individuals. The duration of infectiousness and the probability of infection being transmitted during the contact are largely characteristics of the infectious organism. But the average rate of contact between susceptible infected individuals is a characteristic of the population. R0 will therefore vary from one place to another, from one situation to another, and also over time within one population if the contact rate changes. The R0 and the secondary attack rate are related to each other. So the R0, the average number of secondary cases per case in a totally susceptible population. The secondary attack rate is the proportion of those exposed to the primary case that develop disease as a result of that exposure. And they're related in this way. If you imagine the secondary attack rate in the household, multiply the number of contacts, will give you the R0 for household contact. But then you have to think of the R0 for all the other situations. So you add on the R0 to the secondary attack rate, 
in the family, multiplied by the number of contacts in the family, plus the secondary attack rate in the community times the number of contacts in the community, and so on. We'll come back to R0 in further sessions.